Welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. Now, in today's video, we will discuss the basics of projection of planes, that is part 1. So, what is a plane? A geometry which has two dimensions is called as plane. In this, the third dimension is negligible. Sometimes it is also called as planar geometry. Examples are triangular plane, rectangular plane, pentagonal plane, hexagonal plane, and so on. We can also have a semicircular plate or a circle as an example of this. Now, the examples mentioned here are also called as polygons because they have multiple sides. Let us discuss a few triangular planes. Triangular plane can be of different shapes. First is this one, the second one, the third, and the fourth. Now, here the first one is called as equilateral triangle where all the three sides are equal and the included angle is same that is 60 degree. Second one is right angle triangle, third is isosceles, isosceles means there are two sides which are same. So these are the two sides which are same and this is a scalene triangle where you have all three sides different. So the most important note here is a geometry for which at least two dimensions should be specified is called as two dimensional geometry means at least I'm using the word here because for these three cases two dimensions are sufficient to describe them but in case of scaling you need all the three sides which are different moving forward cases of projection of planes Based on how the plane is positioned, there are different cases which are as follows. Case 1. Surface of plane is parallel to one reference plane and perpendicular to another reference plane. Now, the solution will consist of a single stage in this case. Case 2. Surface of plane is inclined to one reference plane and perpendicular to another. Now, the solution for this case will be having two stages. Case 3. Now this is the most preferred case in examination. Surface of plane is inclined to one reference plane and reference that is it may be a side, edge or diagonal etc which is given to us is inclined to another reference plane. Now it consists of three stages. Now we are talking about three front views and three top views. This is the most asked type of questions in examination. In today's video, we will discuss the case number 1. Now, in order to go to case 3, you need to understand case 1 and case 2 very well. So, let's start with the case 1. Surface of plane is parallel to one reference plane and perpendicular to another. Here we have two subcases. A. Surface of plane is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Whereas, we have B case such as surface of plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Now, let us take an example. Before that, let us see the procedure. For case 1, what should be the first step? Draw the first view in which the true shape is visible. So, while starting with the solution, draw that view first in which the true shape of the plane is visible. It can be front view, it can be top view. Second step, draw the opposite view. Means, if you have drawn front view as your first step, now draw the top view. And if you have drawn the top view first, then now draw the front view. Now, sub case 1. If surface of plane is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. In order to understand it better, let us take an example. A rectangular plane PQRS with side PQ is equals to 60 mm and QR equals to 30 mm has its surface parallel to HP such that its side PQ is parallel to VP and 20 mm in front of VP. Also the surface is 45 mm above HP. Draw the projections of the plane. So we have a surface parallel to HP here. It is perpendicular to VP. So this is our example for this case. Now we are talking about this plane P, Q, R, S, the blue one. Here P, Q is mentioned as 60 and Q, R is mentioned as 30 mm. So Q, R and P, S both are 30, P, Q and R, S are 60. Now here 
it is being said that PQ is parallel and 20 mm in front. So this is PQ, this is parallel to VP and it is 20 mm in front of it. Now, as we can see, the true shape that is the surface having this plane, this surface will be visible in top view. So this is how you get the rectangle of true shape in the top view. So for this example, we have to draw the top view first. So let's draw the solution. This is the XY line, the first step. Take a projector. Take distance equal to 20 mm. Then draw a line 60 mm long parallel to XY. Then take this PS equals to QR equals to 30 mm and complete the rectangle. Once you finish with the top view, move towards the front view after naming this top view P, Q, R and S. Now the distance. The plane is 45 mm above HP so the front view will be 45 mm above XY line. Take a projector and this is your front view. Naming it, you will have two points here. One is P dash and one will be S dash. Then other side will be having Q dash and R dash. So this is the top view and this is the front view. Now important note, when the surface is parallel to HP, then the true shape of the plane is visible in top view. So in this case, step number one will be top view will be drawn as first step and step number two, front view will be the second step of the solution. Second subcase that is B if surface of the plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Taking this as an example, changing the names now. A rectangular plane ABCD with side AB equals to 70 mm and BC equals to 40 mm has its surface parallel to VP such that its side CD is parallel to HP and 20 mm above HP. Also, the surface is 35 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the plane. As we can see, this is the question of similar type that is in first quadrant. We have this rectangular plane. The difference is here, the surface is parallel to VP. In earlier question, the surface was parallel to HP. So this is the blue plane we are talking about, A, B, C, D. And these are the two views we have obtained. As we can see here, the true shape, the rectangle is visible in the front view. So for this case, the first step will be front view. So let's draw the solution. This is an XY line. Then we have the first projector. Then taking the distance equals to 20 mm because here it is said that CD is 20 mm above HP naming this point as D dash, drawing a line which will be equal to the given distance AB equals to 70 mm. Then taking the width, that is the breadth of the rectangle equals to 40 mm, completing the rectangle. Naming it A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. Once you finish with the front view, we'll take the top view that distance is given as 35 mm in front so this will be 35 then completing it so naming it we'll have two points here A and D and here we'll have V and C so this is the front view and this is the top view important note here when the surface is parallel to VP then the true shape of the plane is visible in front view so for this case front view will be the first step and top view will be the second step. Now this was all about your case number one. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching it. Please like and subscribe my channel and stay connected with me for the next videos. Thank you.